Good evening, everyone. And we are live from our first overnight bus in Peru. So, we're going in Cusco, and we are heading to Puno, which is about nine hours away. Time is nine o'clock, I think. Nearly half nine. We just went at the park. 9.21. 9.21. And how is everyone feeling about the overnight bus? I'm relatively comfy. I'm ready for a nap. Can't wait to get nine minutes sleep. <laughs> I'll probably sleep better than I have before, so let's go. It's quite comfy, this. <laughs> Cheers, Cobes. Um, so, yeah, we'll catch you in nine hours in Puno. Um, anyone give me a quickly what's the biggest thing in Puno? Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. <laughs> so, yeah, see you there. The next day. Good morning, everyone. So, freshly faced off our 5 a.m. wake up call this morning. Uh, from our overnight bus, we have decided that the easiest route to conquering Puno is by doing a kayaking tour. So the time is currently 7 a.m. and we are on our way to the kayaks now to go over Lake Puno and see the floating islands. So I'm assuming as the day goes on, we will learn many facts and we will get an official fact of the day from Luke Willard later on. But we're all a little bit tired. We are throwing Dean and Coops into the real traveling lifestyle of get up and go. No, uh, no complaints here. So, yeah, let's see what the day entails. Jack? I'm wet, but yeah, it's fun. <laughs> That's a reef, yeah. Yeah, if you see sheep to put in different directions. Oh, and she said that take. from my house. Um, Normally it's not just oh. three layers. They have to put one meter of the layer. Yeah. A lot of reef. And that's for the house. So, after a strange turn of events, we've all got traditional Peruvian hats from uh, the island. 
So about these islands, they're basically built, they're floating islands, so if the water level raises, they uh, raise with the islands. So it's built on reeds, which are like this, um, which is also based on reed roots, which they cut out of, you know, the flower beds, and then they have to get anchored down. So, you know, it's a long process, takes about six months to do, uh, and these Peruvian hats basically show that I am important. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Good afternoon everyone. So we're walking on our way to lunch now. We're currently on one of the biggest islands on the lake, Lake Titicaca called Tequila Island. Not to be confused with Tequila Island. So it translates it into sunflower. Thank you Dean, it's Dean's flower. So the local delicacy is fish. So we're going to try the fish, rice, and there are 3,000 types of potatoes that are able to be grown on this island. So that is John's fun fact of the day. One day later. So in true John Wilkes vlog fashion, we are climbing more stairs. Um, this is us at the bottom of the stairs, feeling pretty good. Everyone feeling pretty good? Yeah. Pretty ready for this. Let's go. Yeah, feeling pretty ready. So at the top of these stairs is a viewpoint of all of Punai. So it should be quite nice, but this is the four of us. Everyone's 500 steps to go. 500 <laughs> steps to go. It's Quatape all over again. So here we go. 499 <laughs> to go. <laughs> halfway mistakes have been made i always tried challenged to run up them got about a third of the way up and almost had my lungs come out my nose these boys were in a bit of trouble no casualties yet but we've still got quite a way to go made it to the top no casualties as you can see um, it was tough we're all out of breath as you can hear everyone chugging <laughs> the air now um, so yeah the view's pretty good um, we can see Puno and Lake Titicaca we can't see Bolivia though because it's over there so much <laughs> cheers <laughs> So on our explorations of Puno, as you can see me, there's a stadium behind me. I think it's Puno Stadium. Don't actually know who the teams are, but it's like half built. I'll put a picture up here. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's like the nicest stadium from the outside. Looks really modern, you know, holds a lot of people. Out the back, just nothing. Absolute shanty town. Um, so that's the weirdest thing we've seen today while exploring Puno. Um, but obviously we're very much, we'll love football stadium hunting. No referees though. 